This is our old Lapmaster. It's a Lapmaster 24. It's a flat lapping machine. And unfortunately, I think it's going to get scrapped. It's an old machine. It was old when we got it 25 years ago. And it's been stood doing nothing for the part at least 10 years. I just thought uh, I might have a little look at it before it finally uh, gets chucked out of here. Um, yeah, now move. We haven't got room for this. Plus, as I said, we don't use it, so there's no point in keeping it. It's been up for sale in a couple of places, and there's not been any interest. So, yeah, it's going to get scrapped. But uh, let's have a little look at it, see how these things work. First stuff up here, the old school ones had a gravity feed for the for the lapping fluid. So this tank here would have fluid and a fine abrasive, really really fine abrasive um, in there. It's got a what looks like a, a coolant pump on top, and it's just a, a shaft with an impeller on the bottom which mixes the fluid into a, a slurry and then this hole here would have a pipe fitting on it and it would just come out of here gravity fed and drip on the on the plate that metal tank was the one that came with the machine and these are generally used with a mineral based oil as the lapping fluid because we were using it on aluminium, we wanted to be able to use it with a something that we could clean fairly easily, so we went for a, a water-based fluid. And first off, the water-based fluid made the inside of this tank go rusty, which is not good. Um, and then we painted the inside tank, and that really didn't work. <laughs> the fluid just stripped the paint off. Uh, maybe we didn't leave it long enough to cure or whatever, but... Um, when we used it, we substituted that metal tank for a plastic bucket. And you can see here the lock line tube that we used to have on it, just a tap on the front to uh, control the flow. So that used to sit up there where the, where the metal tank is. So let's take these weights off of here. And then I'll take the rings off as well. Yeah, I should probably be, be a bit careful, but yeah, this is not going to get used again, so. And as you can see, these have got slots in the bottom. And the slots are there to allow the fluid to pass through the ring to the space inside where the parts go that you're actually going to be lapping flat. I don't know if I'm going to be able to demo this. I don't want to run... Well, I'm not going to be mixing up any fluid. So what I'm thinking is... Uh, I might just give this a spray with WD-40 and see if that will demonstra demonstrate what goes on. Switches on the side, we, we've just got one switch, which... Okay, that's supposed to control the mixer. Okay, I haven't done this for ages. Okay, that seems to be working. That's not clever. But trust me, that's that's what would happen. You'd switch the mixer on to uh, get your slurry mixed up, the fluid and the abrasive. And the main plate is on a timer. You would just turn this round to however long you wanted it to run for. 
10, 15, 30 minutes and away it spins. Turn that off for about. Yeah, I don't, oh, that's a bit manky. Let's give that a wipe and give it another coating of WD, I think. Now, the, the lapping plate here is cast iron. And the flatness of it is kind of adjustable. You can actually tighten this nut up and it will pull the middle down, or obviously undo it a bit and it come up. You want, you want it flat, so you just check that with a straight edge. And once these are running, they maintain their flatness by the action of the rotation of the, the... The rings are called conditioning rings, and as they spin, the rings get lapped to the plate. The plate and the rings get lapped flat. Uh, as well as the job, the work that you're putting inside the rings. And they gradually wear out. Um, if we look at the, the rings here, th there's not much slot left in that. That must have worn down 10, 15 millimetres over the years. Um, you can cut the, cut the slots deeper, uh, but you will get to a stage where you just have to replace the rings. And the same would be true of the plate as well, they will wear away and you just have to replace them. Let's start this up and put a bit of, bit of oil on it. Yeah, that wasn't WD-40, <laughs> that's um, a neat cutting oil that we use. And let's put the rings on and see what happens. Well, I don't know if this shows up on camera. But this is already having, even with it just plain oil, this is... Uh, taking some metal off. As I say, these are both cast iron, cast iron plate, cast iron rings. And just oil is, well, it is lapping them in. They are getting lapped together. And when you want to actually lap some parts, let's see if I can find. We used to use this for pre finishing some little aluminium squares that we used to polish. So what we would do is we'd put that in there. This has got. This is a piece of uh, Teflon with some little stainless buttons glued to the bottom. And the shiny ones are new ones and the old ones are worn out ones. So everything in this process gets, gets worn away. So yeah, we would put those in there, that in there. And the little squares would fill up. Um, and then you put a weight on top to hold it down. I don't have any pieces to, to put in here, so not really demonstrate it really very well. This is only pushing down on the the parts that you're lapping. Without any parts in there, it's pushing down on the Teflon. Um, it's not Teflon, Tufnol. So I don't really want to do that. But we can run it with just the weights in there. Um, the weights themselves would have been lapped flat. They're a bit grubby. If I clean that up a bit, I might put that in. And we can see it running with the weights on top. 
So I'll just put one weight in here. And that's the, the friction not quite doing its thing. And I'm not using the right oil on here. So last little uh, run for, the, for this lapping machine. And what would happen with the fluid that's running on here, it gradually just goes into the slots, drips off the edge, and runs into a catch tank underneath. And whereas you start off with uh, a nice clean lapping slurry on top, it comes out all black and horrible underneath and dries into a mud. Um, so it's kind of a, a total loss system. You're using the oil, the abrasive, it can't be reused again. And you're wearing out the lapping plates and conditioning rings as it's doing its job. But you're getting a lapped flat part, or parts. So our last little run for this machine before it gets scrapped. Bit of a shame, but yeah, we've got no no real use for it, nowhere to keep it, nobody else seems to want it. So, RIP Lapmaster 24. And I've just tried to lift this off of here and I can't budge it. Which you'd kind of expect really, this thing is lapped. These are lapped together now. That is such a nice fit. I can't lift that off of there, let alone lifting the weight off. Oh my God. Yeah, this, this uh, oil is a bit too thick and sticky, but yeah, that's... Uh... Kind of demonstrates what it's all about. 